Hi, this is a review for uh, Van Gogh watercolor paint. Talons Van Gogh, it's a Dutch brand. Uh, it's very well available here, but I know it's also available with larger online art stores in the United States and, uh, well, basically everywhere in the world, I believe. I saw it on a lot of um, art stores. Right, um, this is studio quality. You can compare this to uh, Winsor & Newton's Cotman. Um, they are mostly interchangeable, but there are a few differences, and I'll talk about it later. Um, there are a lot of sets that you can buy. Um, this is a travel kit that has 12 colors. Yeah, 12 colors. A starter kit. Um, this is awesome quality for when you're just starting out with watercolors and you want to get the hang of it. Because the way they compose these color palettes is that you have a cold red and a warm red, a cold yellow, a warm yellow, a cold blue and a warm blue, a cold green and a warm green. So, you know, there is a beautiful array of colors. They mix very well together, so the colors that are not in there can be mixed. Um, and the light fastness of these colors is pretty good. Um... Pigment-wise, they are really nice. Um, there is another quality above this, the artist quality. And um, you don't always need that. Um, what you have to realize when you're buying watercolors is that the more expensive quality you buy, so if you buy the artist quality, then you have to know more about the pigments. You have to know more about the paint because one pigment will behave in this way and another pigment will behave in that way. So it gets more complicated as you move on in quality. Um, and like I said, it's not always necessary. Um, this is good. This is perfect. You don't need to, um, uh, you don't need to feel, if you buy this, the Van Gogh, you don't need to feel like you're settling for something less than you would really like to have. Colors are beautiful. They're bright. And um, I'll show you in a minute. I have a color chart. And there is lots of variety available for what you want. So we have this, this travel box. Then we have, you know, I teach a lot of workshops, so I have a lot of stuff. This is a new box. It's not unpacked yet. This is also a half pen box. Um, it contains paint gray for shading. I use it for uh, colors of the sky and water a lot. This is a Chinese white. Which will, which is a good white to cover your, to cover colors with if you made a mistake or if you want to do some highlights. And again, these, um, the array of colors here is perfect. You know, this is really good to start out. Um, but then, oh my God, oh my God, what am I doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, still filming. And they also have um, really beautiful boxes, wooden boxes. Um, I once bought that in a uh, shop that went bankrupt. Um, it contains a brush and 24 half pens. And I use this. This is my travel watercolor kit. Um, I take this with me everywhere. And what I also keep in it is a Derwent Graphitone pencil and a, an eraser, a kneading eraser. But what I also keep in it, and I do that in nearly every box, I don't have it in this small one because this is so small. Whenever I take this with me, I don't want to have a hassle of a color chart, but I always make a color chart of the colors that are... You see what my camera does? Everything I add some color to the screen, everything turns blue behind me, <laughs> including my face. <laughs> I'm a smurf. Right. Um, but this is what I do because it's always good to have a reference. These colors are not as bright as my other um, color charts because this has been out in the sun a lot when I take this kit with me to paint. Um, so this is, I should be doing a new one, but I think this color chart is very old and these pens, I think I've changed them all already. These are not the original pens. That's that's really wonderful. When you buy watercolor, if you don't know, look, you can take these out, these pens. They will last a long time, even though they're really small. There is a lot of pigment in the paint. So, you know, don't be afraid that um, they are too small. You they will they will go a long way. 
and you can always buy new ones when there's a little bit, bit of paint on my finger but you can always buy new ones when um when you've used them up so um van gogh is a really good quality they've got good pigments fine pigments they are stable on paper they behave in a pretty predictable fashion they are everything that you need for comfortable painting for uh, easy art journaling and um they are really wonderful i like the colors that they use and um, well, for Europe, they are very well available. They're wide available. They're very affordable. Um, it also comes that I have to open my... I have this uh, treasury. They also have tubes. They contain 10 milliliters of uh, paint, um, which is more than you think. Um, this will last you a lot longer than you think. Um, you can, you can, when the pans are empty, you can also buy a tube, squeeze paint into the pan, let it dry, and then take it with you. No problem. So, um, but what I usually do, I use the pans when I travel. Um, I do a lot of illustration, so I work sometimes, no, a lot, I work fine a lot with fine brushes. Then it's really good when you're doing color washes and backgrounds like skies and everything then you might prefer to buy the whole pens the big pens or a tube uh, because with a with this well fluid paint um, you can easily mix the paint and, and use big brushes to uh, to work on your paper with um, but Van Gogh is a, a really accessible watercolor that's um, is extremely good for starters. Um, so if you're just starting out, I can highly recommend Van Gogh to you, and um, I'm pretty sure you will like it. This is a, a good and affordable starter quality. And also, if you work more advanced artists, Van Gogh will do just fine. I will explain to you later, if you want to buy the artist's paint, why you would want to do it. So, see you in the next review. Bye!